day 179 for the vlog. Started out pretty good. I guess I start day, day rating. The start is is uh, seven and a half, eight. It's right in the middle. Not a little bit more than seven. Not quite an eight. But woke up at four. Locked the pup. Tried to get to the gym at five. I was like a little late, a few minutes late, and then got in the upper body workout. And then I was told that it was supposed to be upper body at five and lower body at six with like a 10 minute break. And so I brought a power bar and some water, or not power, a protein bar and some water and have in between to get my energy back and <clears throat> some nutrients. And it turned up, it ended up that my trainer had to go be somewhere at 6.30 with another client. So I said, sorry, we'll just do Saturday. So Saturday we're gonna have a 7.30 session one-on-one -on -one and the group session at nine and then somehow I need to get in a long run <laughs> oh I don't know I don't know how that's gonna work oh, but but today's run went to the group run to my buddy Bryant he was excited to run again <clears throat> he's like I just run faster with people and so I was like hey I can either run just you and I or we go to this group run. Like, let's go to the group run, let's do it. <clears throat> so we went, took on this new loop, which was pretty cool. But he was picking up the pace, he even told me, he's like, yeah, yeah, I was picking up the pace, I was feeling good. So I wasn't going to drop you, I just, I was feeling good, so I wanted to see how fast we can go. And I'm pretty sure we were in below sevens. We were definitely sub seven for like two miles. And we were just both pretty, pretty breathing. The pace was, our rhythm was more intense, or faster rhythm. Heart rate was up, just because <laughs> one, it was warm. And then two, we just kept picking up the pace, picking up the pace. It's like, okay, go ahead, no, go ahead. If you want to go, go ahead. He's like, no, no, we're good, we're good. I just, I think today's run was faster than my my progression run yesterday but part of the progression yesterday is I felt my quad tighten up and I thought that today was going to have a lower body workout as well and I didn't want to stress out the muscle too much so that one and a half good days turned into two weeks of injury so I purposely backed it off mentally a little bit <clears throat> I wanted to keep it honest so I stayed around that seven minute mark but didn't want to get to that 620 or sub 6 pace at all. But today definitely pro progressed to a faster pace. Oh, sorry, yawn. But I had a good run, we had a good talk. Had a bunch of new people come out today. So that was cool to see some new runners. And then we talked about on the Monday run, there's going to be another sponsor. I can't remember the name. The shoe company's going to be there, but they said they're going to have watermelon and the Otter Pops. Or the, that's what they call them. Otter Pops again and a couple giveaways and snacks. So that'll be kind of nice. And then what else? Came back, walked the pup. I had some chicken in the crock pot. I don't know if it was about two pounds. It was, I don't know, it was, it was fairly heavy. And cut the head in the crock pot and bought the veggie mix again, the fajita veggie mix. Poured that in, so I had it in the crock pot for about 10 hours, 12 hours. And then I cooked some regular spaghetti noodles, threw that together, threw in a little bit of the cauliflower cilantro jalapeno sauce dip <clears throat> just to give it a little bit of that sauce feel and had a nice generous serving of that of course the pup got some chicken I was trying to teach her to lay down she got it the second time the third time she just was like staring at the food she's just like I'm so hungry I'm so hungry and she was kind of going back and forth she was so excited it's like calm down 
just calm down, you're fine, listen. But she did good, so still working with her, trying to get her to listen more, and do more commands, and be in control, not freak out. And then, my trainer gave me, I guess, homework, if you will, to do three sets of pull-ups in the evening. He said, sometime after work, do three sets of pull-ups. And your first rep, go to max, and the second set, go to max, and the third one, go to max, pretty much go to failure. So I got in 15, 15 pull-ups, the first one, second set, did eight, and the third one was six. So I felt pretty good. I think that's what I need to do, keep doing is I have to do in <clears throat> some kind of weights, calisthenics, more than just the push-ups right now. So I'm not sure how tomorrow's gonna work. Got a friend wants to go to do a taco truck that her friend is at. Her friend owns runs, so that should be fun. Not sure how that's gonna work eating wise, if I just try to eat something healthy before I leave and then have a couple of tacos there. But I definitely wanna keep on this healthy eating, healthy exercising. I don't want to do too much, but I definitely want to be competitive in this challenge. I want to challenge myself individually just to push myself and to continuously lift and exercise outside of running. So we'll see where that goes. Besides that, day's done. Did the 100 push ups, got in the reading. Got lunch for tomorrow. I had enough of that chicken and pasta, so at least last two or three days. So we'll see how it goes tomorrow. Maybe work will buy us lunch again, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. But with that said, I'm gonna call it a night and try to get uh, six hours of sleep right now. That'll be great. So run your life with health and happiness, and have a good night.